the injury. Um, a lot of people don't know that Avery was paralyzed. And when I say paralyzed, I mean he could not move his lower extremities. Um, all I know is that Avery, after it was explained to me, Avery was double jumped. He was going down, another kid was coming up or whatever, and it launched him off the trampoline, and he landed on his lower vertebrae on the outside bar and snapped whatever vertebrae it was. And so um, me being so upset with him, I made him walk to the car, not knowing that his back was broken. And uh, he walked upstairs, got in the car, and in the morning, he screamed out loud and we knew something was wrong. So my daughter and I, we went on to the visit and my wife took him to the emergency room and they said he had a deep tissue bruise. And uh, so he still wasn't feeling any better, still was hurting. And she took him to another doctor and another doctor. And finally, they did an MRI and found out that he snapped his, I don't know what number vertebrae it was, but when I walked in and talked to the doctor, um, the doctor said that if it was an adult that, um, that it would have, we would have been paralyzed for life. But a young person has a way of healing, and that in about 60 days, that I was gonna have to make him stand up and start walking. And so that's what happened. In 60 days, I pulled him out of the bed. And he didn't want to get to moving, and I made him move. And after a while, he was back to normal and doing his thing. Quarterback Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson. Yeah, Avery Johnson, man. Obviously, he shines on the football field. Led Mays High to, I believe, their first state championship appearance in school history with over 2,550 yards passing, 20 touchdowns. Our biggest thing is, you know, we wanted to score fast, and uh, coming out of the coming out of halftime, going into the third quarter, and, and that's what we kind of did. So, um, going into the fourth quarter, we were down six points, and you know, our mindset was just keep scoring the football, keep being efficient, and then you know, hoping our defense could make a stop, and and we could eventually come out with the win. kid that he was playing for the Bears all the way up to the high school. It's been incredible. Um, I can't wait to see him go to K-State and then eventually uh, the NFL draft is my biggest dream for him.